Thank you everyone for joining again to I Am Vols podcast and this time we're going live all the way across the country to Florida, yes that's right, to West Palm Beach and if you don't know where that is you better google it because I did. I'm going to be heading out there on June 8th with the Night Runners of West Palm Beach and I'm going to be participating with them in an event and we have two very special guests. I could introduce them for you. I could tell you all this about them, but entonces que chiste, you know what I mean? Let's bring him on. Let's allow them to introduce themselves. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that people that make and are part of such a important movement are very special, rare to find. And today's topic, who you surround yourself with matters. So without further ado, let me bring my special guest all the way from West Palm Beach, Florida, the Night Runners, representing the Night Runners. We have Hey guys. Hi. How's it going? Glad to be here. Hey guys, thank you for joining on this podcast. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thank you. I was just in the middle of making a little introduction. You know, I do wrestling and Lucha Libre, and I almost feel like introducing you. And now coming to this. No, just kidding. And now coming to the ring. <laughs> no, but, hey, well, you that's guys, what we were waiting for. We were waiting for something like that. I, I, that I, was, ex- I was expecting all of that and more. Yeah, oh, man, you know what? Let me try this again. No, I'm just kidding. I just kidding. <laughs> big shout out to everyone that's looking at us, and big shout out to every single sponsor of this Night Runner event on June 8th. Thank you guys. We have over uh, confirmed how many sponsors already? How many booths? We have about 60 to 70 vendors booths. We have a lot of sponsors, we have food trucks. So this is the um, this isn't the first event that we've had, but this is the first event that we've had with vendors. Um, mm-hmm. Our event is um, Night Runners presents Pride Five K. That's who. That's uh, what the event is named. You have any? You have any- yeah, we we like to tap into what the month represents. June is for Pride, so we're gonna do a five k in downtown West Palm Beach. That's where you know the Night Runners usually meet up. So it's gonna be really nice to be able to give back to the community that you know where we run every week. Yeah, and uh, when it's our first annual, it is the first annual with with vendors. Before we, it was just a five k run, a five k race. This year, um, we spoke with the city. And we asked them, is it possible to have possible food vendors, truck vendors? They gave us the okay. And with that, we took the ball running. And with that, thanks to Annette helping out, uh, we got a lot of vendors. That's such a great, uh, that's such a great initiative for people to take this initiative and be leaders for their community. Because that's really what you're doing, brother. That's really what you're doing. You're taking leadership not only on the night runners, but you're setting the example for everybody around you on Florida, on West Palm Beach, and now here in Arizona. This podcast, this podcast is watched across the nation, and we are live in uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, uh, and all the distribution channels. And just like you guys, we do take initiative on supporting all the community events and more when people like you are involved. Now, man, my boy DJ Rizzo and DJ Vos, we go back like, man, years, years. I just want to let people know how I met Rizzo. Rizzo and I, we met at an event. Music brought us together, and music has kept us together through, oh, man, almost a decade or, or probably more than a decade now. Yeah, more than a decade, more than a decade, bro, more than a decade. Yes, and, I, and the same way that how music brought us together, now I, uh, you know, I, I found a different family. Running, running brought me and Annette together. If it wasn't for Night Runners, we would have never met. We, we would have never been friends. We would have never uh, participated in this beautiful community that is filled with, with that is filled with runners. Um, we all try to push ourselves to become a better person. Are there little arguments and fightings and, and all that? There's like that with any group of people that love each other. But for the most part, 
we try to help each other out. We try to encourage each other, and we try to push each other to be the best person. Uh, one of our uh, night runners, they're a six major world um, Abbott uh, winner, and what that means is that they ran the six major marathons in um, in the world. And not that many people competed it. And to be friends with someone like that is very inspiring because it's like, wow, you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm surrounded by marathoners, by people who, who are, who, who, who care more about physic being physically fit than, 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 um, than anything. So that's really what, what, what has kept Night Runners a family. And it wasn't just you know Annette and I building uh, the event. It was a, you know, I'm part of the board, one fifth of the board of the Night Runners board and the whole Night Runners board. We, all of us, we, we, we take our time to try to get this event and, and um, for our runners, for the community to have a very enjoyable experience when they come to our event. Um, it is a physical event and it's family friendly. And uh, we, we just want everybody to participate in the pride that we have as runners. Um, yeah, absolutely. Because if, if anyone knows what running is, is at the end, you do feel a sense of accomplishment, a sense of, of, of satisfaction that you were able to accomplish something. And that's sort of what's uh, embedded within the night runners culture. Um, uh, it's, that's part of our model is to uh, uh, you know, promote physical activity through running and camaraderie for everybody. So and, that, and to put it in, I haven't memorized or anything, but that's, that's mm -hmm. part of our, our mission goal is to unite the community through physical activity and the promotion of friendship and camaraderie. And that's what we really try to do. And that's what, that's what our mission and our statement and what we try to do for the community is about. That's such a great movement and initiative and very clear, right? And uh, a lot of us identify with, with the mission statement. So, Annette, I do have a very big question for you. How did you get started? How did you find uh, the group for the Night Runners? And how, you know, what motivated you to be part of the group? That's a great question. I actually moved down to Florida from Chicago about three years ago. And I came down by myself and my dog. So one of the things that I was focused on was meeting people and staying active. And, of course, in paradise... What better way to stay active than being outside? So I went on the social media platform, and that's what I did. I typed in running groups near me. And lucky for me, the first one that popped up was Night Runners West Palm Beach. So I followed them for about five to six weeks because I had severe anxiety of going to a new group, not knowing anyone. And, you know, having to introduce myself and, you know, first day of school, new kid on the block. So I watched them for a while and I finally built up the courage enough to just go. And funny enough, the very first day that I went is when I met this guy. So he was the first friend I met right off the bat. And I have not been able to get rid of him since. She tried. We, we were trying, we're trying <laughs> but we're still here. So, yeah. And, um. I met amazing people, and like he said, it's not just a running group. It's become a group of, you know, really, really good friends, friends that you can count on in a time of need, friends that you can share your wins with, people that actually really celebrate you and push you. I am not a big runner, per se. I am, you know, I went to socialize, meet people. Um, mm -hmm. But when you start hanging out with these people that take – running serious now i'm a runner i don't walk as much as i used to i don't dread the runs as much as i used to it's true surround yourself with people that are going to push you motivate you and encourage you and that's what this group has done you know silvio and a few others they're faster runners and they've slowed down and kind of you know walk me through the form position and how you should hold your arms and what you, you know, what kind of shoes you should wear, the apps, everything. So I'm very fortunate to have found this group. I'm very blessed to be able to, you know, go to them every week. You know what? You mentioned something very important, right? And this is where people need to understand you, you are touching is such an important subject, right? And I'm pretty sure we all look for answers at moments of distress, 
right? You mentioned that you joined uh, the Night Runners um, and you wanted to do an activity such as this uh, because you were feeling anxiety. Uh, for a lot of people that don't know what that is, because maybe their whole life has been kind of stressful and maybe they're having a hard time or, or they're negating that they they have anxiety, especially with us, the Latinos, right? Uh, oh, you don't have that. You don't have any of that. Or right. that's just in your head. Or you're just crazy. But what does anxiety feel like? Yeah. What, what did anxiety feel like to you? So for me, it was like my brain was going a mile a minute, but with no direction. It was just like I should be doing something um, if I was sitting down and staying calm i should be doing something if i was moving around and doing stuff i should be sitting down so it was more so my body and my mind were not agreeing with each other and i constantly felt that i was by myself here so i didn't really have a lot of people to fellowship with talk with you know just communion with and that's a big that's very important you uh there's days when i come home from work or just life it's stressful and the last thing you want to go do is run a 3k you know a 5k but <laughs> a 5k but once you're there and you're surrounded by your friends you're surrounded by the bullying that happened you know the how you doing how was your week all that stuff it, you never regret going you know So to me, it's not so much the fitness. To me, it's everything that it provides to me. I've tried other activities. I've tried other fitness groups, but Night Runners and that community is the one I keep coming to. And it brings a lot of people, different ages, different backgrounds. I'm a single mom. My daughter goes now to Night Runners. She goes with her college friends. You know, it's different groups that make their own little you know friendships and it's just a community that comes together at the end of the day so for me running ha or even talking with them hanging out with them has alleviated a lot of that anxiety or not belonging more so my, my anxiety because i had the same thing manifested itself physically um I know, again, you know, people say, oh, it's, you know, it's, you know, all, all in your head. And that's really what they were telling me. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. And maybe it was. Uh, maybe it was all in my head. I don't know. I just know that um, I, I, I picked up running. I was running by myself. A friend suggested look for a running group. I found night runners. And it really helped um get rid of a lot of the you know, a lot of the anxiety issues that i had it, it made me um have friends with people it also made me look at different types of sports you know it made me be it made me feel more confident because i feel like okay wow i could actually run maybe if i just maybe if i try something different um you know uh, it, it'll be the same as running and and, 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 it, and it has been so it, on, on on that sense yeah it, it does cure a lot of the issues that we may have running in our head. I tell you, not, not, nothing nothing, helps your brain more than you having already ran three miles, still having to go up a bridge <laughs> just to get, just to run another two miles to get to back to the finish. And there's no going back, somebody picking you up. No, 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 no. You're going to have to run that two miles and get there. And all the worries of what you had that day Dissipate. nothing matters because you left only them that matters behind. you left them behind only the that is that you and the world. exactly because i think what what people need to realize is that during these moments you're taking care of you right you're taking care of yourself while through the rest of the day we're taking care of everyone else we're taking care of our jobs we're taking care of our businesses we're taking care of our employees we're taking care of our kids we're taking care of our friends we're taking care of our families and we're taking care of everything except for who except for us right and maybe a lot of this anxiety comes from there a lot of people don't have an outlet and a lot of people have negative right negative outlets for this because this leads to Uh, this actually leads to a lot of uh, frustration that can burst out into the wrong people, right? Now, you right. see people frustrated. It, 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 
hurts their performance, it hurts their families, it hurts their relationship, it hurts their significant other, and having this outlet, something that is, actually, I think outlet is a, uh, we have a better word for that. Doing this intake, right, of activity for you, for yourself, of self-love, will probably provide more confidence and more positive energy that you can actually spread out through those you love and those around you. So it can make a big difference. I can I, I can tell for my friend uh, uh, Reese over here, my friend Silvio, that, you know, how good he looks. You know, he looks younger than when I met him 10 years ago. You know, brother, you look amazing. Thanks, you guys buddy. both look amazing. You know what I mean? And I can't wait to be there on June 8th and be a participant. Pounds. How many pounds? I'm definitely down 20 pounds since when we first started. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down quite a few myself. <laughs> 60 and, and something you pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down a few, about 60 pounds. <laughs> Give or take. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great. Because it's, it's now the pounds you lost. Is the confidence and the benefits that you gained. The relationships that you built. Right. I go to the gym myself every day at four in the morning, five in the morning, and I'm gonna tell you what I have. I have met better people in the last few years that I've been going to the gym at five a.m. in the morning than anybody in my life that I've met in any other time of, of of day. The conversations that you have are different, right? You have something relatable, and you're probably there for the same reasons, right? And this is so important. Well, this is the thing: is that you know, you, when, when you're, because we meet Mondays and Thursdays at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Every every Monday and Thursdays, you know that in downtown West Palm Beach, Howard Park lot, right across the street from the Kravitz Center, you know, shameless plug. <laughs> we, we, we meet, you, we, we, we meet up and, and we run. So you know that you have that and you get held accountable. Because a lot of times you'd be like, okay, I don't want to show up. Because, you know, if, when you're by yourself, you can skip that gym day. You can yeah. skip that run. You can do whatever you want by yourself because who's there to tell you, hey, where were you last week? How come you didn't come Thursday? How come you didn't come Monday? Right. What's going on? You know, well, you know, and, and you're held accountable to, to, to people who, who miss you, want to hang out with you. And what's going to happen? You're going to run together. You're going to walk together. And before you know it, you're losing this weight without really wanting to. Because I lost 60-something pounds, and I really didn't try to do nothing except just run. And I lost it without even wanting to. All you got to do is just and, – and a lot of it is really getting out that front door. That's, that, that's really 95% of the problem is to get out that front door. Once you get out that front door, everything else is easy because you know what you got to do. You know you got to drive the, to the park. You know, you got to park at the park. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to run the run, come back, sh have everybody, you know, show. Because because also when, when 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 you come back from from the running, the the, the the fast runners that were there, they're standing there clapping you. Cheering you on. Cheering you on on your way back. So that also is like offers encouragement. Like, you know, I, I'm not here by myself running the runs, which is great. But when you need that 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 clap, because we're humans, we need people. You know, we need encouragement from others, regardless. Yeah, of we need that connection. Guy, you don't need nobody. Absolutely. You need somebody to offer that that little, that little good job, that little mm -hmm. pat on the back. That little pat on the back, you don't know, but that can encourage them to want to run the next run. And that you, people don't people don't notice, even when you don't think about it, that person that's running on the street will encourage you, like, ooh, I feel like I'm running today. You know, so it's, exactly. it's, it's little things that offer. That's what I run as ducks. And brother, the example, right? Like I can tell you me as a father, as a father six years ago when I took on fitness and I'm, I'm not even at the best that I should be right now, just, just due to the projects and everything that we have going on. And, um, you know, but I still do the effort. If yeah, I still too. show up. I still show up. You know, I'm, I'm never like, man, I'm going to wake up at four in the morning and I got to be earlier and I got to start to work earlier. I don't want to go to the gym and just be there for 15 minutes. I'm going to go to the gym. 
I'm going to go work out. And even if it's for 10 minutes, I'm still going to show up. I'm still going to do it. Because at this point, it didn't, it didn't become a physical workout. It become, became an uh, emotional workout, a spiritual workout. You know what I mean? It became an about me workout. And yeah. being and giving this example, for example, to my kids, to my son, to my daughter, my youngest daughter, uh, 15 years old, she uh, was feeling a little bit depressed. She felt a little out of place. Uh, she came here for a summer, and I took her to do workouts, and I started encouraging her. Now she goes to the gym almost every day. She's into fitness. She feels beautiful. She feels strong. Um, and I, I, it's that example That's that awesome. that it was provided for her. You know what I mean? My brother, my brother uh, Abraham, you know, he used to be about 240 pounds. He came here. Uh, he moved from El Paso to Phoenix. The, the first day that he was here, uh, he got here at 6 p.m. on a Sunday, 5 a.m. Next, next day, we were at the gym doing our workout. And now, throughout two years, he has gained probably about 20, 30 pounds in muscle and lost about 60 pounds in fat. But he looks totally transformed, right? And he acts different. He thinks different, you know? And the example Absolutely. that we are giving to those around us, even though we might get criticized at the moment, like, oh, yeah, you're going to the gym. Oh, you're not eating this. Oh, how boring. Like, how? But then all of a sudden, when they start noticing changes, they want to do it as well, right? Especially with the law of familiarity, which it means our kids, our brothers, our sisters, we're too close for them to know how would the best thing that ever happened on their lives? And, but <laughs> the results, they want to do what we're doing, right? How have you guys, as, as parents, uh, have you guys been in, uh, influenced those around you? Well, uh, speaking uh, for me, they, they, they've actually been very proud that I've been able to lose the weight and actually keep it off. So, and they're also you know, offer comments. Oh, I, you know, I've been running too. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. You know, you know, just trying to also say I'm into the fitness, uh, you know, mindset as well. So that also, uh, I noticed that it offers encouragement. But I'm gonna be real honest with you. You're not gonna, as a runner, most of your encouragement is not gonna come from family and friends. Most of your encouragement is gonna come from complete strangers. Most of your encouragement is going to come from people who you don't even know. Yeah, your family and friends see you. They say, like, you know, cool. But, and they'll comment, like I said. But strangers, when you're running out there and a person honks, Doo! and they give you a thumbs up, that's the encouragement. When you're passing another runner and they offer a, a, a wave, that's the, the high five, that's the encouragement. That's really what I'm looking when you're on Instagram and somebody says, Oh, congratulations on the, 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 the. um that's uh encouragement. All that. That that that's what I'm talking about. Um it being uh uh, uh something that, that that helps uh uh with, with you know with, with with you running, with you being stronger, with you being fast. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And uh we were just commenting right before we started, right, Annette? You have a 22 year old, 21 year old daughter, and you're you're only like like 10 yes. years older than her. So I can tell. I mean, well, you, you right. you're what like 31, right. maybe 29, somewhere around there. Exactly. <laughs> that one. How, how has your daughter responded to your change, to your fitness, to your accomplishments? How have you been uh, influencing her through the night runners? So it's gone in stages, actually. So she came down about six months after I had moved down to Florida. And the first thing she said is, where did you get all these friends? <laughs> and, you know, I kept telling her, Night Runners. And part of Night Runners is not only the Monday, Thursday runs, but also, mm -hmm. you know, the hangouts that you do on weekends. You get invited to pool parties. Like, I think one of the first events that my daughter joined us was a jumping house for adults. It was like this massive trampoline, jumpy, bouncy house. And she went with a whole bunch of night runners and she was like, this is so much fun. So I guess in her mind, she had thought it was a militant running group. 
and throughout the months I would always extend an invite I would never force her but I would always say you know you should join us you know she was a runner in school she did track and cross country so it was right up her alley but um, she would say no no that's your thing that's your thing funny enough she has seen the changes on her own just like you're saying and just like a lot of people have seen friends and family seen mine through social media the posts that I put you know when I'm hanging out with them when I'm at the night runners and little by little people are joining in on their own fitness journey but they're saying I see you working out all the time I see you look great or I see you with your daughter and I think it's just a way to motivate and encourage people everybody wants to do it they just need that extra little push and us just by being ourselves just by being authentic having a good time and sharing it on social media we're getting more and more people to join my daughter like I said now she comes with her boyfriend her boyfriend brings his running friends now they have their own little group and they go every Thursday and then the other days they go to the gym and they lift weights so it's it's really nice to see it evolving into something more than just what I wanted it to be for me now it's something my daughter has on her own with her friends and, and we also offer um uh, we are a nonprofit organization, so we do have um, partnerships with other organizations, other um, running clubs, where uh, other running clubs throw their own 5Ks, mm -hmm. and uh, they we, we they offer us discount codes. So we offer that to our runners. Uh, you know, uh, other events we get. Um, some free uh, movie tickets. We get to watch free movies. We, we, we do um, some social events at some bars, um, sometimes at um, some other places. But we, we, we try to, we do keep um, a lot of activities going outside of running just so we can sort of have that camaraderie that we do outside of not just running, mm -hmm. you know? build on the, the on the friendship aspect part of it and where can people find you where can people find find more information about night runners about the activities about uh the, the races how can people find you guys and more information social media website how can we find you well um we're we have a website nightrunnerswpb.com uh we also we, we we're heavily on instagram we post on our Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook. Uh, but that's pretty much where we are right now uh, through all the social medias where we don't have a lot of content that we're putting out out there. But for the most part, that's where you can find us. That's where you can send us a uh, you know DMs. And um, go to the site if you have any more information or if you want any more information. How did you guys get to be part of the board and what inspired you to be part of the board? Because, yeah, no, I, I get the part of you wanted to be uh, enjoying, uh, you know, a running group and for the benefits, but then you're taking it one step further, right, at a personal level and say, you know what, I'm going to make a commitment to this group and actually be part of the board. And uh, how does how did that happen? Well, I was out, uh, you know, hanging out with, uh, with, with a previous, with a current board member, but it was a previous board member as well. And she pretty much offered and said, not didn't offer, but she pretty much encouraged me, why don't you write, try running for the board next year? And I really didn't think about it, but she sort of said that I'd be good at it and that, you know, so, and she's, you know, she's also the the, the person that ran the Sixth World Major Marathon. She's a good friend, uh, Teresa Gonzalez. Shout out, Teresa. You know, <laughs> we, we love you over here. But, um, yeah, see, uh, she's the one that said, why don't you try running for the board? And, you know, I never thought about it, but I always felt that people will always sort of, you know, give you suggestions, you know, with, without, you know, like, I, I feel like, you know, not to get ready, very religious, but I feel like sometimes, you know, the, 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 a higher being God, if you will, speaks to other people that sort of like say, Hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And it, you know, it sounded like, you know, something fun, uh, definitely a way to give back. 
Um, and and that's really what I, I wanted to do. I was sort of scared to join because I really wasn't sure what was expected of me, what I needed to do on a board in a running club. Like <clears throat> I don't, I didn't know the first thing. I mean, what do you do? You know, like I, I have a background in IT, and that's it. I've never really, you know, been a board a member of a board of anything, but. You know, it's been a great experience, and I, I've definitely enjoyed uh, the experience being uh, a, a member of a running club. And um, you know, uh, it, it definitely has its ups and downs. Uh, you know, and, but I'm glad. That, I'm glad definitely that that I was um, elected. You know, it, it, you know, you, nobody. The way we have our boards is you get elected by members of the club. Nobody sits and says, okay, you're a board member, you're a board member, you're a board member. No. Uh, the way we get to be a part of the board is uh, members, current members of Night Runners sign up and then have to submit their votes online. And um, yeah, and once you submit your vote, we, we, we tally it up, count, and we get, we, we find out who, 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 who the board member is. So it's, it's, sort of, it's like an election. You know, you, you run for it. You have to, you know, say, hey, guys, you know, this is what I'm running. This is why I'm running and and, and, and so forth. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely wanted to run because I wanted to give back what Night Runners gave me. And they gave me, you know, a, a, a place to call home, some some good friends. Um, it made me a fitter person. It made me a stronger person. It made me a faster person. You said yeah. some good friends, and uh, Ned was like, yeah, the, I'm the good friend. I, I'm the one that she's referring to. <laughs> That's who he's referring to. He just didn't want to make anybody feel left out. <laughs> yes, he he's part of the board, so he has to be. He has to include everyone, right? He doesn't want to get in political <laughs> no, guys, you guys are doing something so amazing. I love to come down to West Palm Beach this June 8th. I love to be part of the event that you guys are putting together. And, you know, I love to see the camaraderie that you guys have, the family that you guys have built, the friendships, and the impact that you're making in your local community, right? The a lot of times we have to realize how what we do in examples like this actually directly affects people's lives in one way or another. And yeah, you could always be humble about it. You could always do it. But sometimes you need to tell yourself, you know what? I'm doing something good and I'm really good at it. And I'm the best thing that ever happened to the world. That confident. You know what I mean? You gotta have that <laughs> I love confidence. it. I believe that up to you, Ender. So like you said, we're having our Night Runners 5K June 8th on a Saturday. Um, it's going to be in the evening, Night Runners. So, of course, the sun won't be beaming as it is in the morning. We are going to meet right on the downtown West Palm Beach area. We're going to have a health and wellness expo, which includes, like we said, about 60 to 70 food vendors. We're going to have an amazing DJ playing music for us. We're going to have about for food trucks um we're gonna have ice cream we're gonna have the whole community just coming out displaying what they sell displaying you know their companies you know just getting out there and connecting with people so we would love to have you your family and anybody watching join us and look us up like he said on night runners west palm wpb.com and get more information to register to find out you know what we're doing to give back to the community with this 5k and if you guys want to sign up to run or volunteer the more the merrier yeah it's not going to be our normal usual spot where we meet up across the street from Kravis center we did get permits and permission from the city to shut down their downtown so thank you so much the city of west palm beach for allowing that to happen it, uh, i know how difficult it must be for a major city to close the streets down on a Saturday night. <laughs> but it is what it is. They allowed it, you know. Um, the track is, is, is a great track. We love the track. Um, you know, we're just running running up and down the inlet. Uh, the, the weather, as I remember last year, was cool. The people are beautiful. The, the food is delicious. The drinks are going to be great. And also, there's, there's also an after party. Night Runners West Palm Beach, 
Wow, guys, what a great movement. I can't wait to make it there on June 8th. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm just like that guy that showed up uninvited to the party, but I'm glad I did because you guys are an amazing group of people. I cannot wait to meet the whole group, the whole team. But let's go through the details, guys. Let's go through the details. What are the details for June 8th Night Runners West Palm Beach event? So we're going to start at 6.30 p.m. on a Saturday, June 8th. It's going to be in the downtown West Palm Beach area, right where the sandy Christmas tree is usually housed. For those people that are from the area, they'll know exactly where that's at. It's from, and it's going to be from 6.30 to about 9.30. Uh, well, the, so the, the run starts at 6.30, uh, but the expo, which... Uh, Annette is in charge of it starts at around five, I believe. So you get an hour, an hour and a half of, the, of, of, of getting to go to different vendors and seeing what different fitness offers they have. Uh, and then, and then once you go through there, 630 run begins a nice, clear, I mean, last year was clear, beautiful downtown. We're expecting the same this year, beautiful route. You go down the, you, you go down Flagler. And you come right back up. Uh, we have the after party going, and um, but yeah, it, it, it should be definitely a, a after great party. event. That we, we, we so got. you're gonna tell me that the night the night runners at West Palm Beach know how to party? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the, yeah, the after uh, party it, is it after is, everyone has done has been done running after you've done your run. Um, and you competed after you visited all the booths, after you were part of the expo. Now you have earned a drink to relax in beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. Is, am, am I correct? Exactly. 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 Yes. Have, have, have a good drink. Have some good food. Great conversation with people. It's definitely going to be uh, a, a night to remember. It's going to be very colorful. And very well, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the music is going to be great. It, it's uh, yeah, uh, it, it's definitely going to be an, an awesome event, and we look forward to we look forward to seeing you. Definitely, I know other night runners look forward to meeting you. Absolutely. Uh, oh, thank you. But yeah, guys, yeah. this is such a beautiful experience. But before anything, I want to commend you for what you're doing for your community. Never stop doing this. Never stop getting the great appreciation that you guys get. Uh, make sure your community is always, always, always involved because it only takes one person to make a change. And I'm glad that is you. I'm glad that that's my boy, Silvio Rizzo. I'm glad that I know this guy. Like when he told me what he was doing, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, man, you're, that's, that's really, really cool. Not only that, but then he's like, oh, yeah, I'm actually a board member. I'm like, whoa, look at you, man. You're actually a board member. You look great. You have great friends. Um, and one of the main things that, that I've always known is activities like this for everybody watching us, for everybody listening, how these activities fuels you at a personal level. Silvio, how has the Night Runner experience enhanced your life as an IT professional and as a father? Well, I mean, it's definitely gave me a lot more confidence in my daily life. Like I could feel like I, I can accomplish um, things that I sort of maybe had uh, ifs about or wasn't too confident about in doing. Um, it, running does take up a lot of your time because you're out there and it sort of becomes like part of your personality. Um, so that also translate into others, like my daughter, seeing me that, hey, you know, he, he, he's out there running. He's not, you know, the type to be like, you know, eh, eh, why don't you go out there and do something? You know, like, no, you see me out there and doing something. You know, I'm not, you know, I, I don't, you know, I, I show her what I'm doing, not tell her what I'm doing. You know, like this is what I did. Like, look, this is this, I'm, I'm showing you. And, and my daughter's also very proud. <clears throat> she's no, she's she's actually the one that has seen me from 
my journey, my fitness journey, you know, go from my first time where I was doing 17 minute miles and coming back dead, you know, and, and, and having to get back up and keep and, and keep going and keep pushing. Um, I use a, a, a Nike. I used a Nike run app. Shout out to Coach ben, <laughs> Coach Bennett. It, it keeps a track of your time. You know, you 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 have to put these encouragement mechanisms in place to want you to uh, keep going out there. Sometimes when I don't want to go for a run, I'll buy myself like maybe a brand new pair of shoes or mm -hmm. something that you know make it lights up at night. Something that will make or download a brand new song or a brand new playlist. Something that will want to make me go out there. Night runners yeah. provides that for me. Brothers, now I know. Hey, yeah. Now who's gonna be out there? Mm -hmm. Who's gonna show up? Who am I gonna see? Are they gonna be any new people? Are they gonna be cool people? You know, are they, is there gonna be drama? You know, is there, you know what, what's gonna happen? Oh, wait, 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 you know, whoa, 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 whoa. And, and you're, you're not gonna talk bad about about our girl Annette while she's present right here. I don't know who you're referring to, but she does not look like drama. She's referring to me. I don't want to point at nobody, but you're right. I don't want to point at nobody, but you know, <laughs> with a blue shirt, you know, <laughs> the, 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 doing the expo. No, but I've heard you guys are doing such a great job. This is the first year that you're making it vendors and race. And it's a, uh, I bet you, you are chapter one of the new book of Night Runners. You are chapter one of the new book of Night Runners from here on. Annette, how, what, what do you do for a living, by the way? We, we haven't even introduced you. I work in corporate. I support a CEO of a global pharmaceutical company. Amazing. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure that is a very Thank stressful you. and, uh, but actual, uh, mm -hmm. actually rewarding job, if I'm okay, if, if I'm correct. Yes. You are absolutely correct. Now, how has the night runners how has the friends the environment and the exercise itself the activity how are all those components have influenced and net the professional so for me it's it's twofold one the meeting everybody with different backgrounds you know silvio's in it we have teachers we have, you know, law enforcement, we have blue collar workers, you know, we have single moms, we have married couples, we have straight, we have gays, we have trans, we have everything. So being around all those people, being open minded, hearing their stories, hearing their struggles or sharing some of their wins, it makes you really empathetic to everything else going on in the world. You know, you have this, you know, we're raised a certain way as a Mexican. I'm raised a certain way, you know, certain beliefs and certain things. And once you start joining these groups and kind of, you know, pushing aside everything that was kind of programmed into your brain and, you know, from childhood, you start to meet people as people, as human beings. You, you start to hear their stories. You start to find a lot of similarities me and Silvio, you know, single parents with, you know, 20 something year olds. I would have never found, you know, another single dad that was into fitness or like willing to go and, you know, have a beach day with me on the weekends and stuff like that, unless it was for this group. So the group has shown me be authentic, be be yourself the right people, the people that are meant to be in your circle, they're just going to like magnetize towards you. And I think our group is, you know, consists of so many different backgrounds, different stories, but we all have a lot of similarities and, you know, we come together and it just helps us grow for me as a person and professionally, you know, I make it, I don't enjoy working out. I don't look forward to runs, <laughs> but it makes you almost like discipline, you know? It makes you, okay, like he said, these people are going to be there. I, it's more for me as if I don't go, they're going to bully me. 
So, you know, it's the other side, uh, other side of the coin. I'm going to go so I don't get bullied and my friends don't <laughs> say anything to me. And, you know, and little by little, it started becoming, I'm, I was no longer the walker. I was, you know, I'm going to jog a little bit. I'm going to, you know, try to keep up with Silvio for one mile or, you know, just some days we don't want to run. Some days we just want to walk and gossip and share, you know, whatever struggles we're dealing with and get feedback. So it's helped me full circle. It's not just a running group it's so much more than a running group that community not only helps our own community but it helps other communities as well absolutely no you are absolutely right on that i'm glad that you're touching in all those uh different points because me people need to know that groups like this exist that people like this exist and that a lot of times you are around toxic environments And by you choosing to be in that environment voluntarily, a lot of times it's voluntarily, you are being toxic to yourself. And you can change that. You will have the power to change that by surrounding yourself with better Absolutely. people. Not bringing drama to other people. Don't get me wrong. Let's, let's make sure we're taking notice. Like, hey, no drama. <laughs> But how <laughs> you can start surrounding yourself by positive people and by people that have the same goals, the same uh, ambitions, and the same drive to be able to be there and be a community. Because it's not only being part of a community. You have to be the community. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And being open-minded, that is such a big thing right now. I think we have, and the reason what unites us is that we all go through that same struggle, the run. You know, no matter what, no matter who you are, you could be rich, you could be poor. At the end of the day, a mile is a mile. You know, whether you're rich, <laughs> whether you're poor, it's a mile, you know. And, and, and yeah, uh, is it easier for some people? Sure. You know, is it harder for others? Sure. But that's where the beauty of the sport comes in because the, the, the more you go at it, the faster you get, the better you get. And once you start realizing that and you start talking with others and they start, you know, hey, well, this is what I do here, what I do, and then I do this, and then, all right, cool. Hey, why don't you come with me on a Saturday? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, did you know there's a 5K coming up? Blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, you're like immersed into a world that you did not know that existed. And, and now you're now you're giving back to the community and, 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 it, and it feels good and it sort of encourages others to follow suit as well family friends uh, you know they, they see that and they also want to find maybe not necessarily night runners but find something similar you know find you know uh, uh, you know something where they can also um, vent and, and 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 you know share their their um, aspirations, their struggles with other humans. You know, a lot of times you just need that. Absolutely, brother. That is such a strong statement. That is the mission right there. That can be identified as the mission for many groups, right? Whatever words you want to use to make it sound pretty, to make it tailor it to whatever the group is, I think you really narrow down to the point of why we should always look for this type of support. So brother, and Annette, Silvio, thank you very much for joining us today in another episode of IamVols.com. I am very thank you for having us. Oh man, so we got a lot of videos coming up. We got a lot of videos coming up. We're going to do some live interviews. We're going to do the podcast too in person when we're there. Uh, we got a lot of information nope. to share. Like this is this event is about to make history. Congratulations to you both, because the way that you're handling this event as leadership um, and, and, and being on the board as organizational of the Night Runners event on June eighth, it really marks the first chapter of the rest of history for the Night Runners. As you guys maybe move on from being the board and as other people come in, you are setting a new bar. I bet you, I bet you anything that 
there's people now, other groups that are looking at you, at what you're doing, at what you're going to do, and they're going to be like, wow, that's that's what we want to do for our next race. That's what we want to do for, for our next event. That's what I want to be like Annette that organized the expo, like Rizzo that worked yeah. out on this, like the other board members that did their duties. The group entirely, gotta- right? The group entirely, they're going right. to want to form a board just as you guys have with that dynamic, that chemistry, and the mindset, which is very hard to find. But you guys, I'm very, very proud. Thank you for making me and allowing me to be part of this. I am so looking forward. Uh, I'm going to be there with uh, Baby Vols, and I'm going to be there with uh, my wife as well. We're, we're, we're all going. We already got our plane tickets. We're ready to go. Uh, and it is happening. That's We've been awesome. talking about going to Florida for about three years now. Oh, we got to go to Florida. Sylvia has been telling me for like four years, like, man, you got to come down. You got to come down. And now I'm like, you know what? I do got to go down. I do got to go down because. You're yeah, going to love it. You're coming to a full area. It's about making a difference. And this is, oh, guys, I consider this one of my biggest blessings of this year to be able to participate with you guys. Let me know. Let us know if you need anything. Any last words before we close out? No, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you for giving us this opportunity with being on your podcast. You know, I always wanted to be famous. So this is my end. I'm super excited. Can't wait to meet you, baby boss, your wife, everybody. It's it's going to be a great time. Yeah. Well, we're looking for sponsors, <laughs> vendors, uh, donations. Uh, we're looking Absolutely. for whatever you want to give us. You know, baby. <laughs> so what's the website? Again? Thank you. For, so you know, okay, th- thank you. We appreciate you joining us. Big message, big message. We are looking for sponsors, and we want to thank our show sponsor, Signature International, for being yes. one of the uh, one of the booths at the event for participating, for believing on, on what we're doing. Uh, you know, the, the the company is based here in Arizona, but they're gonna give me the pamphlets. They're gonna give me everything I need to go out there and help them promote at your event, awesome. which is such a blessing. It's incredible that that's even happening. And that brings me to the next question, Annette. If you wanted to retire and buy a beautiful house in Mexico, what city would that be? Puerto Vallarta or Manzanillo. It will always be near water, um, and it will be near my hometown, which, you know, we're from Guadalajara. My parents have their little house in Villa de Purificación, which (laughs) is about three hours away from Puerto Vallarta, an hour away from Manzanillo. So that's where I would go. What about you, Silvio? I mean, I'd probably go to Nicaragua, back to where, and maybe a place, little, little, a little nook called Montelimar, you know. But that's it. <laughs> but Montelimar, Nicaragua. <laughs> well, guys, go there. They got a beautiful resort. If they get a chance, sorry, bro. Doing, but yeah, guys. go there if you guys. It's a beautiful resort. <laughs> no, and guys, what we're doing at Signature International is that people don't know that there is financing and mortgages available. For people that work in the U.S., for example, if you as a uh, Mexican descendant, you can get your your Mexican nationality and actually be able to buy real estate in Mexico. You can qualify for a mortgage. So, and not only for just any house, but you can use your United States income in order to qualify for that beautiful home in Guadalajara. San Miguel de Allende. I will show you some beautiful oh, homes yeah. that we're building out there that are becoming available. Uh, Puerto Vallarta. And this is a service that they're offering across all Mexico. And brother, don't... this. I'm not going to discourage the opportunity that in the future we might have the same program in Nicaragua. Why not? Everything's possible. I'm going to suggest that I'm going to bring it out to my boy. <laughs> there, you there, you go. Go. there you go that's what I'm talking about <laughs> so thank you very much guys ladies and gentlemen we have Silvio thank and you. Annette from the Night Runners putting together this event on June 8th remember I'm going to put all the details on the website the website right here below 
please, if you have any sponsors, if you need a booth, if you need to promote your profession, if you need to promote your business, you got to contact Night Runners right now. Let them know. Is there a phone number where they can communicate, call, text? Um, we don't have a phone number uh, per se, but the best way to get a hold of us is to go on your Instagram, um, search Night Runners WPB, West Palm Beach, and just send us a message. We answer right away. Um, I'm there. I, I'll get the message directly on my phone. Facebook, too. We're on Facebook if you want to look us up. If, if you don't have Instagram and you just want to look us up in, on Facebook, we have that. Um, uh, some uh, some other little uh, a little apps, but we don't we're not really um, too active on there. But just the main ones is Facebook um, and Instagram. DM us on there, or if you want to go uh, crazy, we are at nightrunnerswpb at gmail dot com. So we got nightrunnerswpb at gmail dot com. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. So guys. The best of luck. Let's keep working. I'm going to send this video. I'm going to spam the internet and all the businesses around you. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure maybe we get to 100 booths. Now, the only problem is where are we going to put all the okay. booths? That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'll worry about that. We'll worry, we'll worry, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on June 8th. Thank you. Guys. The Vols Tour 2024 coming to West Palm Beach, Florida. DJ Vols in the ones and twos with DJ Rizzo back to back is about to get heavy. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs>